Okay, hi guys, Akumodo Crypto here. Another Bitcoin update. Okay, you have my Twitter. Uh, follow me, please. <laughs> I'm begging. <laughs> Just kidding. If you like my content, you follow me. Yes? So, um, let's talk about Bitcoin. So, I'm gonna start with this daily chart here. Um, so far, so good, huh? Uh, yesterday, we finished the day with this bearish, well, okay, two bearish candles. Yes, not, not as bad because this bullish candle here was huge and it crossed the 200 DMA. This is my 200 DMA, okay? The white one, okay? The yellow one, 155, 21. Then we are now, we tried, we, we test, let me take this out because this was, this was my projection for, uh, based on the inverted hand and shoulder. Okay. So we, we test the, the 200 EMA support, went back, we test again. We are now testing and we are now, uh, we test and we, we couldn't break it, okay? We get to this seven eight hundred and then we are pulling back we are going up again okay this is we have now a a doji but it's this is not really it, it's just the beginning of the day so whatever right we need to wait so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, bullish sentiment you know, a lot of bullish momentum yeah, I, I got to say you that uh, here we have the 21 EMA about to cross the 100 EMA, okay? About, okay? It's it's, it's going to happen next days, uh, next few days, probably, okay, probably no, but next week, if this continue, if this continues going on, what we are going to have is to, we are going to have this cross here. And then eventually have a golden cross, what I call golden cross, which is the 100 EMA, crossing the 200 EMA okay actually is the opposite right the 200 I'm sorry the 200 EMA crossing the the actually all the all those EMAs the 21 EMA the 55 EMA and the 100 EMA crossing the 200 EMA and staying on top of it and the 200 EMA supporting the movement like it's doing now okay again this is what we want right this 200 DMA, 100 DMA, 55 and 21. Okay, um, let's pay attention. Okay, daily sh this this daily chart here is uh, is showing us that we have uh, that we have data supporting our bullish bias. But as always, <laughs> we might be we might I wouldn't like to be got out of balance okay so we need to be prepared so if you see that bitcoin is going down and testing the 200 ma not support and if we, this 200 ma can't support if some if somehow in the future not the future future but tomorrow i don't know if you see a huge drop and breaking down this 200 ma with a lot of volume and a, a huge candle here then I would need to reconsider my account and reconsider everything, right? That's why we need to be reactive to the market, right? This is one idea. This is my count. This is one of my one possible, one likely scenario. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at my one hour chart. This is what I have for Bitcoin. This is what I think is happening. Okay. We have uh, finished the one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, here you have. Let, let, let me zoom out a bit. Okay, here you have my my count. This is the truncated fifth. I'm assuming uh, I explained this over and over why I'm, I am counting like this. Okay, uh, here you have the fib retracement the, from the top to the to the bottom here. Okay, here you have the resistance uh, fifty. We, we touched the 50%, okay? We touched the 50% and reacted, okay? 
remember this this is strong resistance here 61865 we try to break it form this three wave here and we react down we touch the 50 percent and we react up we are going to test again this 61865 are we gonna break it if we break it this is my target this wave one here would be this this um let me now zoom in, zoom in okay now that you guys took a look at the whole picture okay this is the whole picture okay now let me zoom in um here okay so one hour chart this is my um let me take this out i don't remember exactly which one is this okay um so here you have the the a b c after this three and i i we have this trend line i think this trend line is important now yeah we broke and now it's gonna act as a support this yellow trend line here okay and now we have this wave two what i would label this wave two of this one here okay this movement here one and two three four five okay perhaps going here we need to uh challenge this high here and challenge this this resistance here this resistance 61865 okay from our highest to our lowest point okay the fib retracement we need to uh we need to challenge this resistance break it to really be sorry to be really to be really confident about this uh movement this motive impulse wave here this whole motive impulse wave here that i am proposing it's gonna be our first wave one of our degree of a minute okay this green one here that has started here now below here, here. at our truncated fifth okay it started here okay. it's not finished yet okay it's not it's just going up and going up to finish it we have finished this first wave one here then we are now two then we need to finish our wave three okay we have finished our wave three then we have our wave uh, our wave five okay and uh, it's yet we have yet to finish this wave five okay uh, by the way i need to measure it <laughs> i need to measure this whole structure to see where the wave three is 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 hitting i don't remember let, let me let me zoom in zoom this out and measure it because here we we have the one here we have the two and here we have this three this three doesn't look like uh it's not extended mm. hmm hmm this is weird isn't it no i'm not saying that wave one can be extended can be but let's me me let's measure it i am in the log scale yes i am let's measure here we have the fib retracement so truncated fifth here this is the bottom this is the beginning of this wave one let me okay this is yes this is weird guys you see assuming this count here uh it's um we haven't touched the 100 percent okay the with this wave three here mm, that's the problem okay with my count that's the problem okay guys that's beautiful i just measure it with you guys and uh, you see this is the 618 okay we 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 broke through it and but we we didn't touch the 100 percent what that means what what that means basically is that this fifth wave can't be longer than the third wave can't be longer Th that's it this changes a lot my whole count this changes a lot my whole forecast Let, let's let, let's explain why right because if we have this first wave and this is the extended wave we have the two the third the, the fourth wave here and then we have the fifth wave and this fifth wave is gonna somehow it's longer than the third it's invalid it's 
it's it's not uh, within the Elliott wave principle. Okay, we can't have two extended waves here, and the third wave is the shortest. No, one of the waves is the extended, and wave three can't be the shortest. Okay, never. Hmm, nice. So. I'm not gonna be stubborn and say, "Oh, this is this is my count and that's it." No. Let, let, let's see, just for a, a curiosity, where would be our fifth? Consider this scenario here. Okay, consider this scenario. Is it possible? Hmm. The first wave extended. Let's see. This is the beginning of our wave three. This is the end. Okay, projecting it to our fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is 100%, guys. Okay, so based on this, okay, the maximum where we should get is this level here. Okay, this is our third. We need to reconsider everything. Everything. Why? Why 100? Uh, 100 because if we have the same length of the wave 5, it's the same, it, it has the same length of the wave 3, okay, wave 1 is the, 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 the longest, but wave 3 and, the, the, and wave 5 is shorter than wave 1, so it's okay, and wave 3 is not the shortest, so I'm not breaking any of the guidelines, okay? Mm. So it's weird, isn't it? What do you guys think? My, my but, but I have this target here, this red target here of a 9k. This is gonna be a psychological target, okay? So we have this 7860 as a this 7860 again. It's the the retracement from the top to the bottom, okay? So we have this confluence here. See, you guys. The 100 confluence here that we and the 786. I think this is a this is a, a, a possibility. Okay, Let, let's. I'm gonna mark it because this is an important information. Because if you have a boundary that is gonna invalidate your account, like we have it now, the fifth wave, okay, cannot cannot go high, cannot go higher than this point here 786 so we have this target here 9k hmm it's nice isn't it i think it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a good opportunity if this count is what's going on okay i, I don't know what is this 127 okay uh, this 127 is the the projection that i have for this third wave here Okay, this third wave here. Okay. Then I'm I am assuming using this. I, I think so. Let me remove this. Sorry, this was not the right one. This one here. Let me remove a lot of uh, a lot of uh, data. Is a lot of fib with fib extensions is not good. Just to just take a, a a look at the overall picture. So guys, are you following me, right? So this is the I, I like it because even if I'm wrong, I, I think that we have a, a potential target here for our fifth wave. That is, if it breaks it here, I'm happy because I'm buying here. You see, I'm buying here. This is I'm waiting for this retracement and I'm buying here, all those green targets here, and then I'm gonna sell because I have this minus. Okay, let me zoom in just to show you guys the targets when I would start taking profit. I'm going to sell at those green. Uh, I'm got, sorry. I would buy at those leather, my buys. This is my my potential, my true. See, this is the, the, the fib retracement. Let me show you how I do it. This is my fib retracement from the bottom to the top. This would be my one of the one, okay? This would be my one, two, three, four, five, okay? This would be my one. Sorry, guys. This would be my one. Then we want to have a two. 
you can I think that this yellow line is gonna play a role in this movement so we're gonna have some kind of flat going down here perhaps and perhaps broken it a bit you know and then going up and then I'm gonna stack some buys here what of course with the stop loss like here at the bottom of this of this whole whole candle why here because if we go down here it's gonna invalidate my count then I okay I accept my loss but then I have a huge opportunity of making money right because this is the, the profit here minus 3320 minus 2360 minus 618 those are the targets and of course minus 100 for my third wave and again the fourth and there there is my target if we consider this count okay if we consider this count this is the box remember the 100 percent i said that this wave one this wave five cannot go as uh, cannot go uh, cannot break this 100 percent here cannot go beyond this level here because okay oh, of course it can break my, my count might not be right and i would be i will be happy if it is not perfect and it's not correct okay because it, it doesn't mean <laughs> it, it, it does not mean that the whole count is incorrect but it's not the it's not 100 percent correct uh, accurate sorry it means that okay it's 60 percent accurate i just need to change a little bit okay and it's i think it's it's nice because we have this six eight seven seven eight six resistance here and the 100 we have this confluence here i think we have a plenty of data to support this view here to support this count okay <laughs> who knows right who knows who knows who knows uh, another option that we have for Bitcoin is uh, this one hour chart here. This is bit step, but okay. Okay, let, let's see. We have this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just present. I, I, I'm not. I'm not showing you guys other indicators. For I, I, I'm. I'm more. I'm. Of course, the other indicators are really important. You you shouldn't disregard it. But I'm focusing on the Elliott wave count. Okay um so here we have what i what i don't like i don't like this wave one two and then three four five we have finished this one two three four five okay we have the same thing okay here, here we have the resistance uh from the the retracement from the top to the bottom okay we have the the those are the six one eight six 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 one eight six five that we have touched it and now we are we, we get to our A here. This is a different count, okay, guys? Different count, totally different count. Um, this is, in, oh, God damn it. Oh, we have here what uh, was proposed by a, a friend of mine, uh, of my Discord, of Until One Mil Discord. Uh, this is an expanded flat, okay? Nikki, thank you very much for your, for your, I am giving you credit for this uh, expanded flat. It might be, it's not impossible, okay? Is this kind of pattern here, okay? But I'm gonna explain this alternation here. What must, not must, I don't like this word, but what should happen in order for this count to be true, okay? This is the expanded flat that he is proposing for us so we would need to have an abc here or not a b yeah, we, yes we wouldn't need a abc Let, let's dig into this price action here let's see oh okay so we wouldn't have finished this a here okay but we would have finished this a with not a uh, um uh, one, two, three, four, five, but a flat, A, three waves, right? A, B, C. This is, okay, not a, 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 a I'm going to change the degree, wait a second. And I'm going to explain, of course, uh, this is a micro, let me put white. Okay, and let's take out this, this wave, sorry. This is ABC, okay, ABC. We have 
Again, let me show you the book. Okay, see, A, B, C, it's a flat, okay? And the uh, A, B, C, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, C. Let me see if I can count it. See, one, two, three, four, five, A, A, B, C, B, one, two, three, four, five, C. Okay, what we have is exactly this uh, flat correction that we have here. This is the, the Elliott Wave Principle book, okay? Then we have this flat. So, according to the alternation uh, rule, the alternation principle, okay? We need to have now a zigzag. An A, B, C, zigzag, and one final wave here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So, first we have a flat. Okay, this is our A. Now we need a, a zigzag. So, uh, an A, A, B, C, in this case, we need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, A, B, C. It's a classical zigzag, okay? A, B, C for our B. And then we would have a new high here, okay? A new high here. We would need to um, get higher than this point here of the beginning of this... I'm sorry, at the end. We need to, to break this resistance, 65, 61865 and establish a new high, okay? And then this would be our A, B, a short B. Uh, what I don't think we have is an A, not yet. Uh, uh, I don't see this is, a, this is an A, okay? This is my problem. I, I, I won't go down to the 15 minutes to count it because of the whole semi, I'm, I'm gonna explain why. Because the whole symmetry of this count is I have counted it using the one hour. If I go to the 15 minutes, I'm gonna see something that is not really there. That's the problem. It's not really there. If you go to the 15 minutes, it's 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 difficult to really uh, be precise. Okay, Elliott waves are. <laughs> you have this nature, this strange nature of a different different possibilities it's not a strange nature it's it's uh, the market right you're gonna see micro movements that's gonna make you think oh but perhaps what we have is not this well we have a, a different thing yeah that's the problem right um so if we have an expanded flat here if we have and then we have a two here okay we would go like that low Okay, but we need first to to have this A B C a zigzag. Okay, a short B. This is not an A. Sorry, I think Nick. I think my friend said that this was an A. I don't think this is an A. I, I would need to count it, but in one hour this does not look like. I know. Let me. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but you are. Yeah. This doesn't look like a B that is doing what I said, you see? This, this, okay, in order for this to be true, guys, in order for this to be true, let, let me put this ABC here again, just because I'm rambling, I, I'm blabbering about it, but I'm not showing you guys. This, this is what's gonna be. This is, if, if this is what's in, uh, this is what's gonna happen, what we must have is, Five waves up. One, two, three, four, five. Then three. Then five. Okay? This is the classical zigzag. Okay? Classical. And we would have here uh, uh, our expanded B. Okay? Classical zigzag, uh, not a very dramatic, uh, not a very dramatic correction for our B here it's when this this happens here as you can see in the book the B is shorter the B is not 50% okay B is gonna be like at the level of the fourth wave going up this is the fourth wave so this would be the level see this is the fourth wave I'm gonna put my my B here fourth wave okay this is what we should see this is if this is happening okay if this is the count 
I'm sorry, of course, the, the, uh, I'm trying to adjust the, the waves to, to, to what might be the levels of it, but this is what, uh, this is what, uh, <laughs> this is what we, sh we should see for this count here to be true. And then we would have a five waves down here. Okay, five waves down. Oops, yes, okay. This is the, and then going even lower perhaps because here we have the 618. Uh, here we have the golden bucket, 61865, okay, for our two of the higher degree, okay, of this higher degree one. Okay, it's okay to have this B extending it. It's an expanded flat. Okay, so it's one possibility, guys. It's one possibility. It's my, we might have this, but I am my primary count is this one here. It's you see, it's almost the same. Now we have some counts that are similar, aren't they? They are similar. See, we have this one, two. So if you go here and you compare, we are waiting for the same thing, okay? I, I, I'm counting this as a one, two, three, four, five, because this is what we need. We need a clear, clear, guys, clear one, two, three, four, five for this count, for this expanded to be true, okay? Otherwise, I'm sorry, we can't. It's against the guideline. You need a clear one, two, three, four, five here. You can't have a one here that you are calling A. You see, this whole structure needs to be symmetrical. Okay, you, you, if you compare this structure here with this structure here in the book, you see what I'm talking about, right? You need to be symmetrical. This is the ABC, okay? And then you have the ABC symmetrical. It's it's in the same level of, uh, of symmetry of this one here. So that's why I'm not gonna, uh, this is, that's why we, we shouldn't go to lower degrees, okay? Let me actually use the one hour because this is the, 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 the time frame that I'm using. So you need to be consistent and symmetrical with the pattern, right? This is the flat correction of A. Then we have the zigzag for B, so we need to count like this, okay? I, wait, perhaps a, 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 like an extended one, we don't know yet, okay? Then we, we are gonna have a B and a C, okay? So, one thing it's, uh, what's gonna, and um, what's gonna, What's gonna be decisive for us to really tell what's what's going on? It's we need to to keep looking at the market and see how far this is gonna retrace. Is this a one? Is this a one retracing to a two? So let's measure it. Let's see here. We have possible targets here, right? It's the same targets that I have marked for. This is a fifty percent. This is eighty one hundred, eight thousand. Okay, at least eight thousand. If, if this is a two, okay? If this is indeed a, two, a, a wave two, okay? It doesn't matter, right? This count or the other one. If this is a two, we, got, we, we need a 8,000, 8,100, okay? 8,000 is a huge support because the psychological support and everything else, it's, a, it's where I think it's, uh, we are gonna find a lot of resistance, okay? I'm sorry, a lot of support, 8,000, okay? We might go lower, 7, 8, perhaps, okay? It's a wave 2. Guys, um, I think that's it, uh, the weekly chart. What is the weekly chart? Yes, weekly chart, we are above the 21 EMA. We are about to cross the MACD here, like I said. Yeah. I, and uh, this pattern ABCD, we broken it for good. Let me show you guys. Where, where is my other count? Uh, this pattern ABCD on the daily chart. This is the daily chart. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, sorry guys. This is my daily chart. Let me take out this EMA because it's messy. ABCD E. Okay, one two. So then we had our. We broke out of this. Okay. 
we broke out of this A, B, C, D, E. We revisit it, okay, see? We try to, to get inside of it again. And, but now we, you see, we try to get it, but we had a huge uh, green candle going out of it. So this is a bullish sign as, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And now, okay, we have this doji, as I said at the beginning, but this is just the beginning of the day. We are out of this ABCDE pattern again, okay? We try to get in, but we are out again. So, I, I am, I remain a bull. <laughs> uh, I remain a bull, yes. 200% supporting the movement here. Nice, it's nice, real nice. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And those are my social media. And it's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Okay, have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. See you guys later. Cheers.